Hey guys, my name's Dale Brett. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Float. And today I'm here to talk to you about unlocking your engineering superpowers uh, with what we're calling Dev Acceleration. So we might just start from the beginning and tell you a bit about our Flow adventure and how we started. Um, so Rani and I, Rani is my co-founder, we met around 10 years ago and have been working together ever since. And very recently, we built a company where we had around 100 people in the engineering and product team. And what we found was it was very hard to find good engineers. And also, it became really difficult and complex to ship a lot of product quickly. Um, we were At the time, we were also working very closely with Microsoft to launch a new developer tool. And what they needed was they needed our entire infrastructure to move over to this new system they were launching. And so for us, that was going to take you know, around six months of work. And for others, it might even take up to two years. So we thought there's got to be a better way to do this. We thought, what if we could uh, build our product and then build it on top of APIs that we just point at Microsoft and then can use their infrastructure? And when the next big thing comes across, uh, we can just point it to the next one. So we're always using state-of-the-art technology. And the same if it was for Google or anyone else. So we thought, wow, that's a cool idea. Why don't we try build that? And then what we thought was, what if we could go further up the stack as well? So we can have code components. And rather than actually writing code for each of these components, which get outdated or you create tech debt, uh, what if you could configure the logic and then what's behind the scenes, we can always update and handle that. And that's really where the idea for Flow came about and why we're here today. So when you're looking at no-code builds, um, these were definitely some of the options we looked into. Uh, and there's lots of choices out there. However, each of the platforms have their own limitations and restrictions, which really limits um, how you can innovate. The competitive advantage as well in some of these platforms is really limited because then you're only really differentiating, differentiating yourself through your branding, your content, the actual products you're selling, and your unique value proposition. So when you're trying to scale these projects and you're doing well, uh, you then need to get into more complex things that you want to build, and you need to really have that flexibility. But no code has those limitations. So how do you break through and provide new innovations for your customers? Flow is a new breed of platform. It's called Dev Acceleration. And it's really about bridging the gap between no code and engineering. And I'll explain a bit more about what that means. So it's a component driven backend, uh, which can power any digital application. And I'll take you through a live demo soon, but basically it allows you to drag and drop pre-configured components that can build really complex logic. So this is how the platform is made up. Um, starting at the bottom, it's a serverless and scalable backend, uh, all complete with databases, and you don't need to configure or build any of that. It's all out of the box. From there, you can build no or low code logic through our API builder. That really allows you to power and build any types of uh, digital applications that you want to build, apps, whatever it may be. And then we have a full third party integration marketplace and community. And that's where you can load in any types of integrations, recipes, and really spin up really fast technology. Finally, everything you build, it auto documents the APIs. And that's what you use to then plug into any type of front end. So today we'll show you plugging into Webflow. You could plug into Shopify. Uh, you could do custom code through React. So what can you build? Uh, you can build an entire startup from scratch and Flow can handle all of the back end that you want to build. And then you can plug it into any uh, front end framework like Webflow. Um, or if you have an existing tech stack today, you can actually build and extend new features and functionality on top of what you already have. And so with that, you can build like new reward systems or new features, new microservices. And we'll show you actually in the demo today as well. So there's three things we're going to show you. Um, the reward platform I mentioned, how a company uses IoT data and is powered through their e-bikes, and also a meditation app, just to show you some of the power and the flexibility. So first off, we're going to go through the rewards platform. Uh, and really, this is a type of gamification engine that can be plugged into any type of company that you've built today. So if you've got your own website and you want to incentivize users through using it, 
let's say you've got a project management system and anytime someone completes a task, you'd like them to earn rewards, earn badges and earn points. And so this is what we're going to show you today. I'll take you through what it looks like. So basically very simple. This is actually built in Webflow for the front end. Um, so you can see there, there's the username. Uh, it's myself. I'm a level seven and I've earned different types of badges for my usage, which you can see there. And we'll show you how this is all powered now in the back end. So to build something like this, you basically want to start with your database structures. Uh, so you've got like your levels database, your badges and your users. So now I'm going to take you through, um, it's about a six minute demo in flow of how you can power a backend feature like this. Um, I'll show you to create a flow account, setting up the first project, uh, structuring your databases, the logic, and then how you connect it to a marketplace to maybe send emails through SendGrid and then hooking it up to the front end with Webflow. So now we're going to take you through a quick demo of how to build this rewards platform. So here you can see, um, I'm just going to quickly create uh, an account with Flow, enter my name and email and a password. You can connect uh, if you're an individual developer or as a company. Here you'll see you start off with your projects. You've got your billing dashboard uh, and your team. But let's go into projects now and let's let's rebuild that reward system. So first, I'm just going to rename the default project to be the rewards projects. Uh, and this can be like an entire company if you want, or this could be just this feature. Select the hosting and done. Now, you'll see here, this is the layout and structure. Um, first, you've got your different dev environments up the top. So you could have dev, UAT, and production. So those are your different versions. Uh, you control that all through here. Uh, following that, we've got your Swagger, which is your live APIs. I'll take you through in a moment. Uh, the marketplace and your auth policies. So let's start by uh, organizing this rewards platform. And let's build a couple of folders just to structure how we want to do it. So as I mentioned before, let's get the users, let's get the badges table, and let's build out our levels. So it's very quick. And then now we'll start with the first database, which is uh, a data table for badges. Um, you can also here create different APIs, functions, et cetera. So let's name our database badges. And then here we will configure it. So all of the fields that we'd need are configured here. You just really type in each, each field that you want and it will spin up the serverless infrastructure for you. Uh, you can also pick the data type uh, and that then is done. And from there you can save. And now what we do is we want to generate the CRUD, which really these actions will automatically be generated. So now I can send data in and out and update data through APIs and that will auto generate for you. And once it's generated, you can still edit it and then add any types of complex functionality or simple things you want to do. Here's the Swagger documentation. So now it's auto-generated my APIs. And this is what I can then give to the front end to connect it all through. I'll just quickly now create two more tables. We'll go through really fast for these pieces. So the other tables we mentioned, um, I've got my levels table. You can reference other tables. So it's a relational database. Uh, and then we'll quickly create the CRUD as well um, for the users. This is really about building up your data models. And so you can come back and edit this anytime, very easy to create and very easy to structure, maintain, uh, and to really build any types of systems that you want to create. So I'll just finish up here. I've now got the levels and I've got my users table. And then I have both uh, sets of APIs to be able to do and add data to each of them. Cool. Next, now we're going to build our first API. So let's say we want to now add points when someone has done an action. So this is the canvas. Uh, we'll edit the start node to be a post so we can send data and we can update a user ID. So we'll add the query of the user to make sure we're adding points to the right person. From there, you can drag and drop these pre-configured components. This one is selecting a database. Uh, what I'll do is I'll select the user database and bring in the ID and the points. From there, I just want to add a filter. I just want to make sure that when I'm adding uh, points to the right user, make sure the user ID uh, equals the ID we've actually uh, specified. Then what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we're displaying this data, we just want to pick the first item in the array. So we'll use the input data from above and just select the first item. 
Finally, I'd like to update the data. So now let's make sure we're updating uh, the data. So here, we're gonna pick uh, that we're adding the points to the right user ID. I don't wanna change any of the other items now. We just wanna focus on the points here. So every time this API is called, I'd like to take the result of the points and then I'm just gonna write an expression plus one and add one point through our expression editor. And that's it. Now we do the end node. Uh, let's just configure it so we make sure we have the right response here. We've chosen 200. And then we'll pick the right body uh, to update the data. And that's it. We've built our first API. So what I'll do now is show you how this all works together. So in our Swagger documentation, um, I've actually added a user already. Let's test it out. You can see there, uh, there's me as a user with one point. I'll grab that ID. And then what I'm going to do is show you through the APIs how I can test it out and add a point to myself. I've added, and now you can see, two points. So the API is all fully functioning and working, uh, fully functioning and working now. Cool, so this is built on Webflow. Uh, you can now see the front end. Um, I've added a few extra bits of functionality, uh, but here we'll show you just the API we've built. We linked it to this add usage button. Every time I tap it, it adds another point. And that was the API we just configured and you can see it all working on the front end. There's a few other cool features here. It'll add your level and badges and you can head to our website to see how we've done that in the tutorial. Um, and things like add a custom badge. Let's say you've done a hackathon or something and you want to add custom badges to the user. Finally, this is the marketplace. So this is where we have a community of integrations. Let's say we want to send an email now from SendGrid every time I get a new point. Um, so to install SendGrid, you just add your API key. It's very quick and hit authorize. From there, the components back in our flow will now be available. Um, just in the database, we didn't have an email field, so I'll quickly go back and just add the email field. So it's very quick, add an extra field. I'll just make sure it's nullable because we don't have any data there yet. And now back in our post, you'll now see the SendGrid app is now connected. I can drag the component for send an email. The validation tells me I need to configure it quickly, so let's link it up. We'll pass through the email data to make sure that that's working. And then now let's choose, uh, cool, we'll send the email. Uh, we'll send it to the user. And then the subject is, you know, well done. And that's every time I've earned a point. And that's it, save the API. And now every single time I earn a new point, uh, it'll also send me an email with SendGrid. So it's very quick to add any types of third-party integrations. You can build your own or use the community ones as well. Cool, so that's how you've created the back end in Flow. And then because we built the front end in Webflow, uh, all we have to do is we go to the page, this is our website, you can uh, hit edit, and then you can see here the JavaScript we've added in order to call those specific APIs and link that to the buttons. This is really uh, you know, a Webflow front end uh, powered by a Flow back end that's very extensible and it can be used you know, throughout the life cycle of what you're building. So what Flow gives you is a central source of truth for all of your data. Uh, it's planet scale. So you can really use the built-in database from whether you've got one user all the way up to millions. Um, you can also bring your own database, whether you want to use any types of systems like Azure, BigQuery, Airtable, et cetera. You can create any types of complex logic. So you really can build things from small features, rewards platforms, or an entire FinTech startup all from scratch. Uh, and allows you to maintain it really easily uh, and really be able to grow through the life cycle of the company. Uh, you have a fully ready to use marketplace. So you've got all different types of third party components, ones that we've built. Uh, we have a really passionate community that is sharing a lot of integrations and you can use any types of open source components and also instantly install recipes that you can use uh, in your platform or whatever you, you might be building. Finally, the product is very extensible. So when you hit those certain boundaries and limitations, you can extend it with code and it's in your controlled environment. So if you're not a coder yourself, you can have an engineer write a small piece of code. It wraps up into a reusable block and that can be then used in the platform. So it allows you to control how it's all being done. You have a standardized language and then you therefore have that ability to break through any limitations. 
Finally, it generates all the APIs you need to connect it into your front end. We have things like uh, e-bikes. So there's a really cool company now. Uh, a lot of the uh, IoT data they get from their e-bikes passes through into Flow, and then they can do predictive maintenance and let you know when that bike needs repair. Um, and they've connected all different types of data pipelines. It can notify them in Slack if something's gone wrong, uh, and it connects to different databases like Google BigQuery and Postgres. Cool. And finally, even things like meditation apps. So uh, we're powering a full backend meditation app. Uh, it allows you to check in, do meditation courses and do check-ins with your team, see how people are going. So it's kind of like a community built app. So how do I start? Basically, you can take a look through our docs and tutorials. Um, it's got everything on there. We show you how to build an app like this rewards platform and others. Um, you can engage uh, a low-code engineer if you need any types of coding components. Uh, and the no-code community is really a great resource as well. And we're there 24-7 uh, for support for anything you guys need. So just for you, um, if you are interested to join and be an alpha partner of Flow, uh, just head to our website and sign up to be a partner and just mention the Webflow conference and we'll put you right to the top of the list. I uh, would love to help you and see how we can uh, build with you. Great. So thank you very much. And yeah, appreciate your time.